Now coming up to the truck, I noticed I noticed this little wire hanging in the wheel well first, and I noticed that my whole the wheel well has been removed. And you can tell they're kind of tearing stuff apart in here. What's up, everybody? Uh, finally, I have for you a long overdue update video. So um, before I show you guys the truck a little bit and talk about what's been happening, I want to give a quick thank you to y'all for subscribing and for supporting the channel and for, and for just watching my videos. Um, I know it's hard to get going on YouTube because there's so many videos out there. I feel like my channel is growing faster than I deserve considering my video quality is not the best. Um, I'm learning, you know, cinematography and like trying to just talk better and, and, and be more, you know, pleasant to watch. Um, so thank you for, you know, despite of that, subscribing and following along because, um, you know, I do want the channel to grow and hopefully help support my family someday, to be honest. So uh, thank you guys for, for tuning in. Um, I filmed this video. Sorry about the noise. Right there is the freeway. So it gets loud. It gets loud sometimes. I filmed this video five days ago. At that time, this video had a much different connotation to it. Um, Cause I was, I was 28 days in the shop and I, and I was, and I still am considering lemon long the truck. Some of y'all have, have said I should do it. A neighbor had done it one time and I'm still have a lot of questions about it. Maybe you guys know if you've ever lemon lot a truck. Um, Quick interjection, because like I just said, I'm a noob and I'm, I'm talking in this video as if y'all know what's going on. And some of you guys do, but some of you don't. And it's your first video you, you've watched of mine and you'll be lost and just like sitting there wondering like, dude, what's the problem? Come on, what's the problem? So let me tell you what the problem is with my truck. Now, first off, you can watch the videos I made about this. I'll link them in the description. There's like a stranded for 14 hours, something, something. And then uh, like, like a stranded part two, like an update a little bit. Uh, but, to, but to be brief, basically the, the dev system is malfunctioning, but they've traced the problem back to the PCM as unable to communicate with the dev system. And like, that's like the issue that they want to fix. Like, um, and so obviously it kind of goes to the dev system. That's the problem is because everyone, everyone knows dev systems are terrible for diesel. So, um, but the PCM is what needs to be replaced is what the, the dealer has concluded. And there's been a ton of back and forth. So at this time, it's been like 34 days as of this interjection right now. Um, and I filmed a video like yesterday and one of I did prior that um, I uploaded and there's a terrible glare on the screen. I just, I, I scrapped the video. But when I, when I did that video, I was like 70% ready to just like do the lemon law. And I'm asking you guys questions coming up about how that works and your experiences with it if, if you've had any. But then I learned some things. I learned three things that make me want to be a bit more patient. Um, and so I think they're worth discussing. So, you know, you know, my PCM's broken. That's all you wanted to know. That's cool. If you want to hear and, and you kind of hear my reasoning of why I'll be a bit more patient, despite all the back and forth and how long it's, ta it's taken, then, um, you know, feel free to you know, please keep watching and then tell me at the end if I'm an idiot. Uh, uh, or if you agree and say, hey, you know what, man? Yeah, dude, just give it another week or two and, and, then, and then go from there. So um, anyways, back to the video. Maybe you guys know if you've ever lemon lot a truck, um, you know, do they reimburse, like if, they, if they do like a buyback, do they ding you for miles? Is it like MSRP? Do they pay you back for your sales tax? Because that's like six grand on this thing. Do they pay you back for like a warranty? Any upgrades like tires or steps that I put on? Um, or is that money just like out the window? Those are some of the reasons why I'm like, okay, I don't want to hurt myself worse just because I have a grudge or I'm angry. Three things changed between when I shot the video and now to where I'm like 40% ready to lemon to lemon all the truck. One is that um, while I was here, I was talking to uh, just a guy, guy come on a golf cart around. He has a, a Cummins and he lives out, I guess Utah is very friendly toward, towards deletes if you live in, in a rural area, which I do. So I can legally delete my truck with no problem. And he got like a six mile per gallon increase in fuel, fuel economy. And then it's more reliable. His grandpa's, he has a, uh, has a, a Cummins with no def on it. It's gone for like 1.3 million miles. It has a rebuild in there, a new tranny in there, but that's like, that's pretty freaking cool. So part of me is like, okay, I can do a delete when it's up. That's appealing to keep the truck. So I think that obviously a new PCM and then a delete later would hopefully resolve that issue for the long term. 
The second reason that uh, it kind of made me ease up a little bit, I assume, I kind of thought the FCA is just like dodging the ball, whatever, delaying. I got the, the impression that I think it may have been kind of him not giving it the truck priority. But they do a test, they park it again. Other cars are in there getting fixed. Well, they he wait, wait a couple of days to hear back from FCA with another test request. I don't think he was getting prioritized to get put back in for the test real quick. It may be sitting for extra time between tests. I got an impression, I can't prove it, I don't know. I got the feeling though. And then now, ever since I came in, I mentioned Lemon on the truck and that I was upset a little bit towards FCA, not to him. Um, all of a sudden though now, it's like a lot faster moving of updates and that kind of a thing. So I think he realized like, oh crap, it's been a long time. I should freaking hop on this and prior prioritize this truck. So. So that helps me kind of like ease up. Okay, I don't think it was all FCA dragging their feet. I think it was just an employee error, right? The third thing that changed my mind is that I saw a Prospector XL. I happen to be a very long-term thinker. Like the long-term thinking of, if I, if I had to have one truck to do it all, that would be, I think, the truck that I would want to like have until my grandpa, um, if you know, it can still tow a lot. It can still offer like crazy, it has tons of axle clearance, tons of body clearance. It'd be a great just off-road camping rig that can fit my whole family. Obviously a half ton would be better for off-roading, but then you can't tow big stuff with it at the same, especially if I lift it with big soft suspension on it, it tends to go to hurt the towing capacity. So I don't want to have like a bunch of different cars for different tasks. I want to have just one that can kind of do it all. And for me, I think the PXL would be, would be a great fit. And so, having that long-term vision and knowing, okay, I fix a PCM, I do a delete later, I build out a Prospect to Excel. Is it worth the headache now if it'll be good to go later? For me, the answer is so far, yes. Well, like I said, I'm still about 40% ready to Lemon Law, but I'm curious for you guys who have done the Lemon Law, um, how it went, how hard it was. If it's a couple more weeks, I'll probably look at it more seriously, but please leave a comment, let me know. Um, you know your experiences with it and then please like and subscribe to, and subscribe to help help the channel keep growing uh i'd appreciate that too so thank you guys for all your comments you've given in the past all your insights to help me as a new diesel owner to figure things out and just be smarter i truly appreciate it you guys have a good labor day